So how is important was the pro day and how do you think that it's going to work for you for the NFL? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, in terms of it, uh, I mean, obviously we were, we we're getting ready for uh, this, uh, this pro, uh, upcoming pro day. And for me, it's, 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 it's a lot because uh, I put in a lot of work and um, in terms of just showing who I am and I want to prove uh, to, I guess, just everyone that I've, I've, gotten better you know over uh over this time and I've, i've been able to elevate myself in terms of who i am and i'm faster stronger and uh you know just better in terms of everything that i i have uh uh, uh coming into it so i'm just really grateful for uh, this opportunity that's that's going to happen and also for all my teammates because i know they've been working really hard and it, it's just uh it's it's, it's going to be a good day to to show out and and just to show uh everything that i've been doing so The play in the secondary, uh, you can do a lot of things there, like can be corner, can be Nico, safety. How do you think that your transition is going to work for the high level of the NFL? Uh, I believe my transition, uh, I'm going to roll right into it. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be straight because uh, football, I've been playing football all my life. So uh, it becomes natural to me. And uh, just adjusting to a new system, and getting ready for new speed, uh, I think I'm gonna be ready for it because um, I'm ready for all challenges. In, in this class of wide receivers, we have like a bunch of guys who can do a lot of and different things. What do you think that's your main character, uh, main quality that you're bringing for the game and for the NFL? Uh, I think for me, you know, Like you said, I think this class is very deep. We have a lot of good receivers in this class. And I think that's awesome for, for the NFL, you know, for young talents, for them to have young talent come in and, you know, for them to have so much to choose from. But for me, I think uh, what I, you know, where I think I separate myself is I think, you know, I'm super competitive. That's one of the things that I, you know, I've always been since I was a kid growing up. I'm super competitive. I hate losing. So I think just be, being one of the most competitive guys, you know, in that, in that room, um, you know, quick, Can make can make can make a, a, a turn a 10 yard play into an 80 yard play, um, and just consistency. I think you know. I think I'm one of the most consistent guys there is. Uh, during your college career, you have like a big production in all the years except 2020. But but it was a different year because of the COVID and all the problems. How do you think that that's production? Can help you in this year when we have so many good receivers and guys who's guys who can do a lot of things. Um, I feel like I just bring a different aspect to the game to the table. Um, I wouldn't say that my year was short; it was just cut short just because of the season that we had and the games that we had. Um, the production wise, it didn't stop for me or or competition or anything like that. So um, competing against the guys that's in the draft right now. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna do better than anything, anybody, really. Uh, in the first two years in college, you was like a, a really big hitter, uh, safety guy. Have a bunch of tackles for loss, have sacks. In 2020, you have like the four ends. Then maybe show for for scouts that you're also a guy who can catch this ball. And how do you think that this mix? of stuff that you do in, in your career in, in college can help you in the NFL? Yeah, uh, you know, I think that's a great question because at, at the end of the day, I'm just blessed in the opportunity that I have and where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm just give all the glory to God and what he's helped me get through and the things I've been able to endure. Uh, for me, I just am excited to go throughout this process, whether I'm drafted or undrafted. I just, you know, all I ask is for one opportunity. Uh, just to go showcase my talents and, and give me a chance just to show what I can do. You, you say early about the you doesn't have a, a full season in college. And when I, I look uh, look your history, you have some injuries during during this time. And you think that these injuries can be like a, a yellow flag from some NFL teams, or you think that you couldn't show them that you're healthy and this is not going to be a problem. Uh, well, I, I couldn't, you know, that's up to them to make a decision on me. Uh, I really don't know what else that I can do except for just to be present in the moment. And I'm very blessed with that. 
um, healthy right now, and I, I hope they consider that fact. But, you know, that's up to them and, and their decisions. Uh, for me, just being able to play this season fully healthy was just a, was a blessing. Uh, you're going for the NFL with like a partner on, on the D-line that was Jay. And right. how is for you like having other guys uh, in the college going for the NFL together? I feel like it's it's exciting, not only for us as players, but for the school as well. Uh, being able to have players that uh, like get a have like high chances in the next level, it just shows what USC can do. And I felt like just the hard work that us as players put in uh, during our time at USC, I felt like that's helped us a lot. And uh, what you two can talk about the senior bowl and how was for you that that experience? Uh, it, was, it was definitely a great uh, experience for me. Um, I was blessed to have the opportunity to, to get the invitation. Um, but my goal there was while I was there just to show my show my abilities as a football player and then also speaking with uh also showing them uh, like how I think as a as a football player, and then just trying to go over there and just be a sponge, like learning from a from an actual NFL staff, just trying to just be a sponge and, and take everything in and and learn how things work in the at the next level. So it was definitely a, a great experience for me. You're talking about all these workouts that you're doing, and do you have the pro day? How do you think that all that can help you on this transition for the NFL? Some people mm -hmm. say that you might have to move the guard in the first year for like getting the NFL speed. How do you think mm -hmm. that that transition is going to work and where you see yourself in this first year? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, well, I think, um, you know, I think the transition, uh, you know, it'll be easy one for me, you know, where I end up. Um, you know, I've talked to a lot of guys in the league, especially, you know, Austin Jackson, who I played with last year, um, you know, just giving me advice, you know, on certain things in the league uh, mentally and physically. So, um, you know, I have pretty good insight on what it's going to be like. And then, you know, I think when I get there, um, for me, uh, it doesn't really matter where I'm playing at, you know, guard or tackle. Like I said, I'm my, you know, put my head down, just work, you know, as hard as I can, um, you know, and try and piss everybody on the team. Then, you know, um, me, myself, you know, I just believe in myself a whole lot. So, you know, I think this first year uh, will go well for me. On this, uh, like on this uh, part of the process, you probably already heard a lot of like the, the team that can maybe uh, pick you on the draft. And with which team you have like spoken more during this process or teams that you, are, you already have some contact that you're like have, thinking that have a good chance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, you know, it's been a long process so far. You know, I've had conversations, honestly, with a whole lot of teams. Um, so it's kind of hard to answer your question in depth. Um, you know, I can't really answer, you know, what type of teams I've been talking to or, um, you know, which ones I feel like I'm going to go to because I feel like in this process, you you really have no idea. You know, some guys don't even talk to teams and then they get drafted by them. Um, but, you know, I've just been talking to, you know, um, a lot of teams so far. And, you know, all I can say is they've been going, you know, pretty well.